Paul, you know what time it is? Time, time to make some beer bread. <laughs> we made a little something nice for the kiddies. Up next, this is for the adults, adults only. Mm. What we're gonna do is a locally brewed uh, beer by Pretty Things. Pretty Things. Pretty Things, right down the street. Local Actually, right around the corner square. from us. Tell your friends. Union Square Brew, very nice. Jack the Orr. Jack Dior with our beer bread. A little pretty things. Uh, we measure out a little something for the kids. We got 12 ounces. We got about three cups here of some sifted flour. I like it sifted, give it a real nice texture. We got another three tablespoons or teaspoons or some spoons of some sugar. We're gonna mix it. Real simple. Uh, Paul, I need a little, uh, little spoon action. So if you can do that for me. We got a little flour first. Flour first always, throw a little sugar on top of that, make it nice and sweet. Now, I measured this out ahead of time, it's 12 ounces, it's a normal beer. Of course, uh, good friends over at Pretty Things were able to do a super size me. But what we're gonna do next is pour the beer right in there. Of course, we're gonna take a handy dandy spoonie, do a little mixy pour. Mixy, mixy, mixy. See that nice foam action? Of course, you're gonna wanna just dip your face in there and take a little swiggle, but you bring your side beer for that, so avoid doing any of that whenever possible. Now you're gonna find that the uh, consistency is really hot until you really work through that shit. I mean, you make a bread, so you want a bread though. Now it's not gonna have to rise, it's a self-rising flour, it's none of this kneading shit. You don't need to spend any time doing any of that. You don't need to let it sit for 12 hours in a freaking vacuum bag or any of that crazy shit. Paul, what are you thinking? How's it look? Looks good, let me see. Get in there, give, it, give you the full test. This is my mother's recipe. Yep, yep. So, Mother Paul. Do it proud. Mother Paul. Miss Miss Paul. Mrs. Paul's mom. Paul's mom. Beautiful. Nice. So the uh, the final step here before we put it in the oven, we're gonna be plopping our little uh, dough mixture in a greased pan. It's good in there. Really, you know, just give it a little push, a little pushy push. It's all gonna settle. It's gonna do its own thing in the oven. But, uh, what would you say, Paul? How long are you gonna cook it? How hot? I would say, you know, if I can recall, I'd say my mother used to put it in about three fifty mm -hmm. for about. 40 minutes. Yeah, I'd say you might. So now that our beer bread's been uh, cooking for about 40 minutes, we're just gonna uh, cover it with a little bit of butter now. Paul, would you explain to the fine uh, crowd here as to why butter is a big uh, important aspect to our beer bread? Yeah, you know, so it's a very simple bread. It's got beer, self-rising flour, sugar, and uh, we sprayed butter there on the pan. So to give it a little bit more oomph, give it some flavor, give it some a little bit of that down home goodness. We're gonna add some butter on the top, let it melt up on there, stick it back in the oven for a little bit more, and then it's gonna get nice and golden and crispy, and it's gonna just be just mm -hmm. Just uh, yeah. mm -hmm. make out with that thing right there. The, uh, We're gonna do it real nice, yeah. yeah, absolutely. We're gonna wanna take this butter here, mm -hmm. paint it on, you know, pretend you're a little Picasso, you know, a little something mm, fancy like there. Jackson Pollock. Little right. Jackson Pollock. Okay. Throw back in the, uh, in the oven there. Here we go. All right. Back in the oven. So, uh, beer bread has had a chance to be buttered up, put back in the oven, and uh, cooked for another five, ten minutes. We'll give it a, you know, nice kind of golden crisp crunch topping. Uh, what we're going to do now, Paul, is uh, sample the time. Nice. Yeah. Oh, that, that, that already is. But before I think we do the official testing, uh, I think we should bring our good friend Nate back on here. Yeah, let him get a little uh, gobbly do. Oh, Nate? Nate, indeed. Nate? Nate? Is Nate here? Nate, is Nate, Nate around? Hey! 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 So this is a Jack Dior bread. This is a Jack Dior bread. Wow! Wow! I'm excited. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna go ahead and. Look. Hmm. Thank you guys. See you guys next time. Yeah. Well, I that about wraps it up. Yeah, I think that concludes our little show here. Mm. Paul, it's been a pleasure. Absolutely. Thank Always. you and yours. Yep. Uh, we'll talk to y'all soon.